Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen De Luna dream a big dream, instilling in the youth the core principle of science and virtue. So in 1907, they founded the Central Escolar University, which would grow to be a center of excellence in education. Loyalty Day 2021 Recalls our alma mater beginnings since founder instilled the core principle of science and virtue as the mark of every true Escolaria. We find the model in Dr. Concepcion Aguila. She has been the icon of fidelity to our alma mater as she served with excellence and integrity as Dean of the Graduate School, Dean of the College of Education, Moderator of Extracurricular Activities, and Executive Director. That's why Dr. Aguila's birthday, September 11, has been set as CEU's Loyalty Day. Today, we honor Parent and Service Awardees, our present-day exemplars of loyalty, whose exceptional allegiance to our school makes them truly the legacy of our beloved founders, not only to our school, but to our nation and the world as well. Welcome to Sancho Escolar University, Loyalty Day 2021.
Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna dream a big dream, instilling in the youth the core principle of science and virtue. So in 1907, they founded the Central Escolar University, which would grow to be a center of excellence in education. Loyalty Day 2021 Recalls our alma mater beginnings since founder instilled the core principle of science and virtue as the mark of every true Escolarian. We find the model in Dr. Concepcion Aguila. She has been the icon of fidelity to our alma mater as she served with excellence and integrity as Dean of the Graduate School, Dean of the College of Education, Moderator of Extracurricular Activities, and Executive Director. That's why Dr. Aguila's birthday, September 11, has been set as CEU's Loyalty Day. Today, we honor parent and service awardees, our present-day exemplars of loyalty, whose exceptional allegiance to our school makes them truly the legacy of our beloved founders, not only to our school, but to our nation and the world as well. Welcome to Sancho Escolar University, Loyalty Day 2021.
Good morning, CEU. Welcome to the celebration of Loyalty Day 2021, a joint program of the Centro Escolar University and the CEU Alumni Foundation Incorporated. Today, September 11, 2021, we honor our founders, Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna, with our annual awards program for our loyal Escolarians. We pay tribute to our model of fidelity, Dr. Concepcion Aguila, whose birthday we celebrate today. With our parent alumni and their children who are graduating, we honor them for they are exemplars of the CU core principle of science and virtue. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem to be led by the CU Singers Manila to be followed by the singing of the Himno del Centro Escolar. Bayang maghihiyo, pero sa'ng silanganan Alag ng puso, sa titip mo'y buhay Lupang hinihang, tuyan ka ng magiting Sa manlulupin, di ka pasisingin Sa dagat at tunog, sa simoy at sa langit mong maghaw Halilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Isla't ang matawat mo'y tagumpay na nagninimning Ang lituwin at araw niya kailan pa may di magbibilig Lupa ng araw na huwag natin pagsita Buhay ay langit sa piling ko Ang higaya ng pagkay mga api Ang mamatay na Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna dream a big dream, instilling in the youth the core principle of science and virtue. So in 1907, they founded the Central Escolar University, which would grow to be a center of excellence in education. Loyalty Day 2021 recalls our alma mater beginnings since founder instilled the core principle of science and virtue as the mark of every true Escolarian. We find the model in Dr. Concepcion Aguila. She has been the icon of fidelity to our alma mater as she served with excellence and integrity as Dean of the Graduate School, Dean of the College of Education, Moderator of Extracurricular Activities, and Executive Director. That's why Dr. Aguila's birthday September 11 has been set as CEU's Loyalty Day. Today, we honor Parent and Service Awardees, our present-day exemplars of loyalty, whose exceptional allegiance to our school makes them truly the legacy of our beloved founders, not only to our school, but to our nation and the world as well. Welcome to Sancho Escolar University, Loyalty Day 2021.
Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO Board of Directors. The CEU Alumni Foundation Incorporated Board Members The CEU Administrative Council CEU Manila Deans and Assistant Deans CEU Makati Program Heads CEU Malolos Teens and Program Heads Have you seen the first episode of the Kwentong Centro? The first guest was able to share her lighter side, especially during this pandemic, while leading a big institution like CEU. Ladies and gentlemen, to give us an inspirational message, Dr. Maria Cristina D. Padolina, President and Chief Academic Officer of CEU. Greetings. Greetings most especially to our alumni whom we honor in this program, and particularly to the CEU Alumni Foundation Incorporated, led by its ever gracious and indefatigable president, Dr. Paz Lucido our partner in this traditional University Loyalty Day program. One of the happiest days in CEU is Loyalty Day. It's like a homecoming day when alumni whose children are now also studying in CEU return to be thanked and honored by the university. And I believe on their part, to thank and honor the university. You, dear alumni parents, chose to create your future with CEU as a partner and mentor. You must have liked the future you built and your child must have agreed that now this child is also building its own future with CEU. The best trait of Filipino parents is the value they give to the education of their children. They know it is a treasure no thief can steal, an inheritance whose value grows through the years. Thus, Filipino parents go to great lengths, invest hard-earned money so that their children may earn a degree that would be a passport to wondrous times in the future. With this program, in the year when the COVID-19 pandemic rages in our land, we would like to honor all parents who are not cowed by the ravages of the coronavirus, rather continue to expect the best for their children and take action to make the dream of their bright future come true. Ang pamantasan ay nagpupugay sa lahat ng mga magulang na patuloy na nangangarap at nagpupunla para sa mayabong at mabungang kinabukasan ng kanilang mga anak. We thank you, dear CEU alumni parents, for continuing your faith in CEU as your partner for the future. You and your kin continue to be a major source of information and encouragement for students to enroll in CEU. This school year, we are happy to report to you that we have a good increase in the number of freshmen who enrolled in our three campuses. To reciprocate your trust in CEU, we pledge to give of our best in the education of your children. We wish to assure you that Xianxia y Virtud continues to be the university's guiding post in its policies, practices, and processes. We continue to believe that while science empowers our values, values, on the other hand, give direction to our science. 
We seek to develop both competence and character among our students, your children. Competence grows one's character, while character protects one's talent. We hold Loyalty Day in honor of a faithful scholarian, Dr. Concepcion A. Aguila, who worked in CEU for 47 years, from 1912 through the war years until 1959, starting as a kindergarten classroom teacher and rising up the academic ladder to become the dean of the CEU school, graduate school, and in her last year in CEU as its executive director. It was during her stint as dean of the graduate school that she brought honor and distinction to CEU as the first non-sectarian university in the Philippines to receive recognition for its courses leading to doctoral degrees. Dr. Aguila certainly epitomizes the loyal Escolarian, serving long and serving well and bringing honor to the university. Mabuhay ang mga Escolarian, hubog sa ehemplong ipinamalas at ipinamana ni Dr. Concepcion A. Aguila. Mabuhay ang ating pamantasan. Thank you, Dr. Padalina, for that very inspiring message. To introduce our guest speaker, please welcome the CEO Alumni President, Dr. Paz I. Lucido. Glorious greetings, Escolarians. Before I proceed to my task of introducing our guest speaker, Allow me on behalf of the CEO Alumni Foundation Incorporated to acknowledge the following. The CEO President and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina, for all her support to the CEO AFI, inspiring us to continue our activities amid this pandemic. To the CEO Administrative and Management Council, CEO deans who stand also as advisors to the different alumni chapters. To the 2021 Loyalty Day Committee, led by Dr. Roda Aguilar, and ably assisted by Mr. June Iwan and other hardworking committees. All participants, and most especially our main honorees, the Alumni Parent Awardees. September 11, 2021 is a most special day for all of us. We celebrate the birthday of one of our exemplar alumna, Dr. Concepcion A. Aguila. And as has been a tradition, we also celebrate Loyalty Day, consisting of a tribute to Dr. Aguila and recognition to those who have proven their band and dedication to our alma mater. Loyalty is the heart of all virtues. To be loyal is central of life's interpersonal relationships with family, friends, community, and the world. Owing to the accident of a pandemic, we have to hold again our celebration virtually. But that also means a most fortunate event through the modern web technology, we are now reaching out virtually to all our alumni chapters, nationally and overseas. While our beloved guest speaker will also deliver her message tribute virtually, we are also most grateful for the borderless extent she can reach out to alumni all over the globe. In the true tangible way, Loyalty has characterized her most joyful and productive career. She hails from Santa Ilocosur. Her father's influence in her life and her other siblings instilled on them the passion of helping and reaching out to other people, that in making a difference in people's lives. 
He graduated with B.S. Pharmacy degree in 1986. For 19 years, she served Trico Pharmaceutical Corporation in the Philippines, but eventually decided to migrate to the United States. There she had most outstanding career as Quality Assurance Manager with JMP International and today enjoys being a well-established pharmacist position with Walgreens. But her success did not deter her from looking outside her family to a dutiful husband and a beautiful daughter, a sophomore biology student in the United States. It was her scholarian spirit that moved her to be bonded with fellow pharmacy alumni and become founder and president of our CEU Pharmacy Alumni Chapter in USA and Canada. In addition, she pioneered in organizing Filipino pharmacies in Nevada, USA. Life means so much, not only by seizing the days for self-advancement, but for opening our hearts to others. Mrs. Mamales will have much of this, as she may wish to recount her experiences with alumni overseas and how they made through by action their loyalty through science and virtue to our alma mater. Let today's opportunity then unfold to further advance our scholarian spirit of unity, camaraderie, and mutual support. May I now proudly and gratefully introduce our 2018 CEO AFI Outstanding Global Escolarian Pharmacist, founder and first president of the CEO Pharmacy Alumni Chapter in the United States and Canada, Mrs. Maria Teresa Burgos Mamales. Hello and good morning everyone. It gives me a distinct honor and pleasure to be one of the speakers on today's spiritual celebration of Loyalty Day. To see you, President Dr. Christina Padolina, thank you for the invitation and for recognizing what I have done for the school and the CEU Pharmacy alumni I represent. To see you, AFI President Dr. Paz Lucido, thank you for your personal invitation over the phone. Of course, I will never turn down your personal invitation, ma'am. I'll do anything for CEU, whatever it takes. That's a promise I keep to myself. To me, the word loyalty has a very special meaning. It is a strong feeling of support and allegiance. It is something you give regardless of what you get back. It is the floods of truth to oneself and others. In one of the famous quotes on loyalty, it says, loyalty is what makes us trust. Trust is what makes us stay. Staying is what makes us love and love what gives us hope. Today is indeed a very special occasion as we commemorate the birth of Dr. Conception Aguila and to give recognition to employees for the many years or decades of service they rendered to CEU. September 11 has been set as CEU loyal today in honor of Dr. Aguila. She was an icon of fidelity to our alma mater as she served CEU with excellence and integrity. She is someone who epitomizes leadership, someone whose life reflects a heart of service and commitment. As her last name Aguila implies, she soared like an eagle from classroom teacher to principal, consultant, dean, and a well-dignified lawyer. Very impressive indeed. Dr. Aguila was not only a loyal scholarian, but a patriotic Filipina. Though she got her doctorate degree in the U.S., could have got, she could have easily gotten a stable and lucrative job, considering her excellent educational background, but she chose to come home to serve her beloved country. Her loyalty to her country was very inspiring. With such an amazing and exceptional accomplishments, I was left wondering what is in Dr. Aguila's secret to an outstandingly successful career and incredible effectiveness as a leader. I have come to believe it comes down to a single word. It must be love, love for her humanity and love for her country. Many of us don't know her as a person, but we can learn from the legacy she left. 
Today, we pay tribute to Dr. Aguila and her exemplary contribution in establishing CEO as one of the best education institutions in the Philippines. To all the employees who are recognized today, hats off to all of you for reaching this milestone. Dedicated employees like you are valued members of CEU and your continued con contribution are vital for CEU in meeting our mission, vision, and values. I encourage each and everyone that you place that invaluable expertise and experience to mentoring up and coming staff so that they can one day make a similar contribution to this great institution. To the parent awardees, my heartfelt congratulations to each and everyone. You made the best decision in sending your children to one of the best schools in the Philippines. Thank you for your continuing to patronize CAU. As most of us know, this year is also the centennial celebration of the founding of CU School of Pharmacy. As one of the founders and the president of CU Pharmacy Alumni USA Canada chapter, allow me to give you a few words about our organization and the many things that we accomplished since its inception in 2011. When we organized the first reunion in 2011, I admit it was very challenging not knowing where to start, not a single penny on hand and only three people on board to help me. It was a daunting and tedious task, but I believe deep in my heart that with prayers and determination, we will achieve our goal. Our distant locations made it impossible for us to have personal interactions, but thanks to modern technology, social network helped us connect more effectively. After six months of planning, hard work, and constantly reaching out to CEO alumni and generous sponsors, we had a successful grand reunion in Las Vegas, Nevada. With just a short period of time, we were able to raise funds more than what we expected. Majority of the proceeds was donated to CU School of Pharmacy. The donated amount was used in helping build the multi-purpose hall in CU Manila. Our alumni members grew in numbers as years go by. A second alumni reunion was held in Toronto, Canada in 2014, and another one in Los, in Los Angeles, California in 2017. Last year could have been our fourth reunion in Vancouver, Canada, but due to pandemic, it was canceled indefinitely. Part of the proceeds of the last two reunions were also donated to CU School of Pharmacy for the future projects. Currently, we estimated to have about 500 members living in the US and Canada, plus a few members from other countries like Germany, Australia, and the United Arab Emirates. We constantly help our members in some of their needs, like getting internship hours, lending support in the review, providing information to get the license in the US and Canada, and connecting them to the other alumni who are willing to help them find a job. The Vice President, Dr. Olivia Limuaco, and Dean Cecilia Santiago, thank you for your unwavering support to our group. Mom Olive, I know you love our group so much that you are always present in our reunions. We are so fortunate to have you as our mentor and our advisor. To fellow alumni, guests, parents, and colleagues, let's continue to make a difference in the lives of others. We are all impacted by the pandemic and let's all continue to pray that everything will be back to normal soon. Let's be kind to one another and let others know that you care. No one's is spared by, from the effect of this pandemic and we should all be united in mitigating the spread of this virus. Through I, though I've been in the US for 26 years, I never forget to look back. I am forever grateful to school where I obtained my degree in pharmacy. I am a loyal Escolarian from BATS 86. Again, to all the awardees, congratulations. I end with a quote by Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Maraming salamat, mamabuhay ang CEO at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Magandang umaga po, sending my virtual love and kisses to everyone. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Lucido and Ms. Mamales. What a very inspiring message for all of us. We have a special guest this morning. He has been very active in the Philippines opera and classical scene during these past years, portraying mostly lead roles, namely Crisostomo Ibarra in Felipe de Leon's Noli Me Tangere, Ferrando in Mozart's Cosi Pan Tutte, Belmonte in Mozart's The El Furung Aus den Serail, Juan Luna and Jose Rizal in Ryan Kiabiab's Spoliaru, which was his international debut held in New York City. He was also an understudy for the following lead roles, B.F. Pinkerton in Puccini's Madame Butterfly, Rodolfo in Puccini's La Boheme, Don Jose in Bizet's Carmen, and Nemorino in Donizetti's Elisir de Amore. He won the first prize in the Jovita Puentes Vocal Competition, a finalist at the ASEAN Vocal Competition hosted by the Singapore Lyric Opera, a second prize winner at the Evelina Kahlo Operatic Jewett Competition, an Ali Award nominee for Best Actor in a Musical Noli Me Tangere the Opera, and also a nominee for Best Classical Performer. To render us the song Nesun Dorma from the Opera Turandot by Giacomo Puccini, please welcome tenor Ivan Nicolo Neri. Thank you very much for that world-class performance rendition of Puccini's Nessun Dorma. Truly amazing! Now, it is time to recognize our loyal parents who sent their children to CEU and received the education and developed the same values they were able to imbibe when they were with CEU. Ladies and gentlemen, the Parent Alumni Awardees. Presenting the Parent Alumni Awardees School of Accountancy and Management Marilyn Bautista Carolino with her daughter Mary Sharil S. Castro
Catherine Cruz Aizagire with her daughter Andre C. Aizagire Marike Asika Regala with her daughter Christine Ann Marie A. Regala School of Dentistry Marilyn Bautista Carolino with her daughter Grisel B. Carolino Erwin Lyndon C. Castillo with her daughter Christine May D. Castillo Riza Gilas Comunal with her daughter Hemeline G. Comunal Maria Bernadette Santos Macay, Arnel Paulino Barba Macay, with her son Andre Christian S. Macay, Simon M. Moises, with his daughter Jocelyn Angelic C. Moises, Nilda Santos Santiago, with her daughter Christia Roni Angeli S. Santiago. Rosario Cruz Tumbagahan with her son Kyle Vincency Tumbagahan. School of Education, Liberal Arts, Music and Social Work. Dorothy Reino Español with her daughter Rosary Grace R. Español. Rebecca Pacheco Mijares with her daughter Joan Pauline P. Mijares Rodolfo Jr. S. Texon Maria Catrina Hizon Texon with her daughter Rihanna Marie H. Texon School of Medical Technology Laureline Vidanes Adraneda with her son Lance Nehemiah V. Adraneda Maria Carmen Schiller Dizon with her daughter Laika Athali S. Dizon Gina Buen Dumawal with her daughter Anginel B. Dumawal Annalyn Mampusti Helera with her daughter Rowan M. Helera Marian Sebastian Sulieza with her daughter Diane Maris S. Sulieza School of Nursing Dulce May Martinez de Dios with her daughter Leris Main M. De Dios School of Nutrition, Hospitality and Management Marie Claire Ramos Miranda with her daughter Niaki Zen R. Miranda School of Optometry Milagros Gutauco Kalala with her daughter Roslyn Mayan G. Kalala. Jesusa Caparas with her son Eldrick Joshua P. Caparas. Leia Genova de la Peña with her daughter Ayla Shania G. de la Peña. Melda Camungol Gloton with her daughter Julia Marie C. Gloton Amalia Milyondaga Piliado with her daughter Charis Alisa M. Piliado Muriel Mercado Salud with her daughter Darlene Bianca M. Salud Honey Boy O.C. with his daughter Maria Angelica L.C.
School of Pharmacy. Mary Jane Torreja Abdon with her daughter Janelle Corinne T. Abdon. Benet M. Alejandro, Catherine Agabao Alejandro with her daughter Bea Karina A. Alejandro. Roda Pentinio Ayala with her daughter Sofia Clarissa P. Ayala. Ivy Travillo Echano with his son Jeffrey T. Echano. Amelia Siapno Manuel with her daughter Alessandra S. Manuel. Marites Rayo Navarro with his son Mark Jason R. Navarro. Orlin Chu Paradero with her daughter Carmina C. Paradero. Karen Del Prado Pranada with her daughter Carla Patricia D. Pranada. School of Science and Technology Marciana Balagtas Agnes with her daughter Camille Francesca B. Agnes Raquel Mercado Ilaga with his son John Anthony M. Ilaga Graduate School Carlito B. Olaer with his son Jose Carlo A. Olaer Relita Gonzal Brescia with his son John Rene G. Brescia Centro Escolar University Malolos Regina Garcia Alejandro with her daughter Lizette G. Alejandro. Santa Rita Atienzo Baluyo with her daughter Rachel Ann A. Baluyo. Rosita de la Paz Cahucom with her daughter Sharina Fatima D.P. Cahucom. Renato S. Hoson with the daughter Rayana G. Hoson. Carolina Magpayo Martin with the daughter Alisa Marie M. Martin. Serafina Lopez Clemente with the daughter Luz Monique L. Clemente. Regil P. Cruz, Maria Cecilia Arce Cruz, with the daughter Dominic Ivy S. Cruz, Rowena De La Rosa Pineda, with her son Severi D. R. Pineda, Erlinda Ramos Fajardo, with her daughter Ruth F. Saguinsin.
I'm sure they are proud parents because they have sent their children to CEU where they got the science and virtue. Soon they will be both graduates of this prestigious school. Four of them will be alumni of CEU. We would like to tell everyone that the CE Alumni Foundation Incorporated upholds and promotes our alma mater's core principle of ciencia y virtud or knowledge and virtue, maintains harmonious relationship among our graduates, implements continuing professional education programs for members, and following our core principle pays forward their blessing through community outreaches and scholarships for the youth that they too may imbibe our distinct escolarian way of life. One pride of CEU Conservatory of Music will serenade us. Please welcome Ms. Justin Mabunga, soprano and member of CEU Singers Manila as she sings Bituing Marikit. Thank you very much for that wonderful rendition of Bituing Marikit. Let us listen to a parent awardee, Maria Katrina H. Texon, a graduate of AB Economics, Batch 2001, for her response. Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina, President and Chief Academic Officer, CEO Administrative Council, 
Dr. Paz Ilocito, President, CU Alumni Foundation Incorporated, CU Alumni Foundation Incorporated, Board Members, Officers, and Chapter Presidents, Mrs. Maria Teresa Burgas Mamales, Guest Speaker, Distinguished Loyalty Awardees, Alumni, Parents, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Morning. Happiness is doing meaningful things. And it is a joy for us parent awardees to be part of this meaningful program today. Sincerely, we parents appreciate this recognition and appreciation for the loyalty we showed to our alma mater. But each of us parent awardees have their own story to tell. In my case, it is not only my story but that of my husband's staunch fealty to our university. My husband, Rodolfo Salinas Texon, was an AB political science graduate in 1999. I was a later 2001 AB economics graduate. But it was Centro Escolar University, which gave us not only our degrees, but also the most memorable time and place to meet and nurture friendship and love for a lifetime of marital relationship. My early schooling was in a Catholic school where I received a solid Christian formation. After high school, I enrolled in the Mendiola branch of Centro Escolar University Manila, where I learned the philosophy Ciencia y Virtud, or Science and Virtue, as handed down by beloved founders, Doña Librada Avelino and Doña Carmen de Luna. I feel certain that this philosophy has meant so much and will always be meaningful for me and my fellow awardees. Science meant for us the discipline of learning that fills our minds with understanding of our courses so that we can become productive and self-fulfilled professionals. On the other hand, virtue would open our hearts and will to ethical and humane practices in our careers. Believing in the educational philosophy of science and virtue I entrusted the education of my children to see you to become productive, responsible, and God-fearing citizens of the country. Science and virtue are articulated in the curricula consistent with the ideals of its founders. As parents, it is important and empirical to us, the education of our children with an emphasis on this philosophy. It has therefore become not only most opportune, but a great honor for me and my fellow awardees to hand down the twin principles of science and virtue to our children. My husband, Rodolfo, who is with the Manila Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, and myself, as a senior teacher at the Mateo Paez Integrated School of Manila. We both believed that all our three children should also have to be Escolarians as we both were. I am certain this thoughts and conviction are true to all of us who have received recognition by our beloved alma mater. And so, we give our earnest gratitude for this honor. And most heartily, we should say, Gloria Ti Noble, Centro Escolar. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Katrina. I'm sure your siblings is proud of you. What a wonderful message for all of us. 
As Escolarians and as alumni, let us renew our loyalty to Centro Escolar University. We are led by Mr. Rodolfo Estexon Jr., AB Political Science Batch 1999. Panata sa pagiging tapat. Ako si Rodolfo Estexon Jr., nagtapos alumni sa pamantasang Centro Escolar. Ay nangangako sa harap ng Diyos na magiging tapat sa aking paaralan, pinaglilingkuran sa wika, sa gawa at sa aking gagawin. Ay huwag maging batik sa malinis na pangalan ng pamantasan. Pinangangako ko rin sa aking buhay na pansarili at pambayad. Sisikapin kong manatiling marangal upang ang aking mga kilos, gawa at gawi ay makapagpatingkad sa magandang pangalan ng ating pamantasang sentro eskola at mga pagpadulot ng dangal at walhati sa aking inang bayan. We're about to end this part of our Loyalty Day program. Let us sing the CEU alumni hymn, lyrics composed by Dr. Rosita L. Navarro, music by yours truly, June Ayran. Thank you to all. To our parents awardees, you are great. To CEO Alumni Foundation Board led by Dr. Lucido, your work is appreciated. To CEO Administration led by Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina, thank you for supporting the CEU Alumni Foundation Incorporated. See you this afternoon for the awarding of service awardees. <laughs>